Hello. There is a lot of stupid people in our world, and a good example of that is the Flat Earth Society. They think the Earth is flat and stationary, and about 6,000 years old. The sun is local, nearby, and the Earth and the moon and the sun are about the exact same plane. I, I, I don't understand it either. But they believe the sun is about 30,000 miles away. So is the moon, and the star is about 3,100 miles away. And the sun and the moon are both about 16 miles in radius. And as you can see in this picture here is what a spotlight sun would look like. And as you can guess, this model is not quite to scale of what the flat earthers say the Earth looks like. They say the sun and moon are about 16 miles in radius and along the same plane. And the fact that eclipses happen is quite strange because that is not possible on a flat Earth since they are on the same exact plane as each other, they say. With my calculations, I got that the Earth's radius, the flat Earth radius, is about 12,431 miles because that's basically the exact same distance as the North and South Pole on the surface. So if you put it together, that the flat Earth radius is 12,431 miles, the Sun's about 3,000 miles away, and the, Earth, and the Moon and the Sun is 16 miles in radius, then you can tell that the Sun should not be able to light up that much area. And you should also still be able to see the Sun, even if you you'd have to have a telescope from the night side of the flat earth. Now here are some diagrams I've created to show you how the earth is not flat but it is in fact round. My first diagram explains how you should be able to see the sun at nighttime on a flat earth. The fact you are not able to proves the earth is round. There is no vanishing point as some flat earths say because how? That makes no sense at all. So as you can see there's the sun right there, and the line of sight goes directly to the sun and from the night side of the portion to the earth. The sun is about 3,000 miles in, uh, away, with the, with the um, earth 12,431 miles in radius and 24,862 miles in diameter. I created this one with, um, the, with official um, data from the Flat Earth Society's website and my own calculations of the earth. So, this alone proves the Earth is round and not flat. This diagram also furtherly explains how you should also be able to see the Sun at nighttime and not just daytime. My third diagram explains how the Sun does not change shape in the sky and how it does go below the horizon. As on a flat Earth, the Sun would never go, on over the, would never go under the horizon. But on a round Earth, it would. It also explains how if you zoom in far enough on the flat Earth side, you should be able to see the sun from anywhere on the planet. My fourth diagram here explains how absurd the flat Earth idea is. On the third square, you can see how, it, how normal it would look at around noon. But on the fourth square, it's supposed to be around midnight, and the sun would be still high in the sky, but it would still be far away. But you still should be able to see the light coming from the sun and the sun in general. My fifth image here shows how the sunset we have is only possible on our round Earth. The first panel is of the Earth's terminator line and how on a merc mercator projection looks like that because the Earth is in fact round and the sun is far away. The second panel is of the Earth on Google Earth showing what the time looks like when I took the picture on the fourth panel. The third panel is also on Google Earth at where I live, showing what is on Google Earth. And the fourth panel is the exact same photo as the third panel, but in real life. As you can see, in the southern hemisphere, the moon looks upside down. As you can see in the last photo, that is only possible on a round Earth. On a flat Earth, it would simply look like the other side of the moon, which you cannot see from Earth. So that also proves the Earth is round, and you'll see that later. Did I say later? I mean right now. As you can see, the North Pole kind of looks the same as you would see anywhere else on the Earth. The South Pole, that's just the other side of the moon. And as you know, you cannot see that side of the moon 
from the planet. Our ninth photo here shows exactly what you would see from the last photo that you should see from the south pole, the far side of the moon, and from the northern hemisphere, the near side of the moon. Here's the last few images you saw, but as one whole image, explaining how absurd the idea of a flat Earth would be. Here's the last bit of evidence I have for you today. The first panel shows the sun's orbit and the moon's orbit. The second panel is two photos of the moon. The one from Mississippi is the one I took, and the one from New Zealand is in courtesy of Ryan Healy that he took. In the third panel, you can see the photo of the moon that I took would actually be possible on a flat Earth. But the photo that Ryan took is nowhere near possible on a flat Earth. You can see how on the third and fourth panels, the moon will look way different than what you can see on the second panel. This, in fact, proves the Earth is round and not flat. The photos that um, me and Ryan took is only possible on, you got that right, a round Earth. We took these pictures just one day apart, and I don't see how that would make any difference. What I have done with my experiment is got data from the Flat Earth Society and some calculations for myself and put it all in a 3D simulation of what a flat earth would look like with real scale models. Then I put the camera on a ground level area both on Mississippi and New Zealand which show the difference of the moon and a lot of other stuff that would be impossible on a flat earth. Just like the sun setting or like the position of the moon and what side you would see. All of that would be only possible on a round earth and not on a flat earth. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe. And if you want me to make another one, I will. Have a good day.